positives to take away from the game against Baylor in terms of just how you guys competed and, and fought? What, what did you take away from that game and what kind of positive momentum could it theoretically give you guys? Yeah, um, I think that holding them to lower than their average of 90 points shows our defense. Um, it's really just our turnovers and second chances that we keep giving up. And that's leading to a lot of the points that they're getting. And that was that 20 point difference. We gave them about 21 points in transition just off of turnovers. So if we limit that, it's a lot of little things, um, but definitely took away some good things uh, defensively. And um, personally, just finishing at the rim, seeing some things go in that way and just trying to take the positives away and uh, get some wins this weekend. Coach said you've been kind of soaking in <clears throat> information on how to be a better, maybe a true point guard. Mm -hmm. What things do you think you've grown in in, in that front? Um, really, I just feel like it comes down to just slowing like my game down. Um, I'm young, so when I'm getting pressed and face guarded and things like that, definitely an adjustment. I haven't seen that since high school. So just trying to slow my game down um, as much as I can, using the screens, coming off the screen slower, uh, change a different speed. That's just what I'm trying to work on right now. And then just being a general on the court, getting everybody to their spots when I can. Um, just trying to implement being a leader and then focusing on my game because that'll contribute overall. This, 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 as you said, a pretty young team and taking some lumps early on the season. Who's been kind of at the center of making sure everybody keeps their head up and kind of what's that process been like? Because it's so early on the season, a lot mm -hmm. of things can change, but it's been obviously tough. Yeah, um, I think everybody is. Everybody's trying to help in every way that they can role-wise. Um, Philly's doing a better job of talking a little bit more. Uh, Grace is a more lead by example. So just coming into practice every day and uh, playing through mistakes, we're all gonna make mistakes. Um, when the pressure and everybody's looking at us, but just keeping a positive mindset. I think everybody's learning each other still, just how to uh, help everybody respond to negative points and things like that. So I think everybody's um, contributing. Is it, is it difficult though, when, when when these losses start to stack to not get down on yourself? What What's the process, I guess, just individually of, of staying confident that things can get better? Um, personally, I just, um, I try to look at the light of things, uh, what we did good, what I can improve on, what I saw myself do, um, and just try to carry it over and improve the things that were negative in the last game, watching film as much as I can, trying to see my mistakes that contributed to it being a team mistake overall. Um, just little things like that. I think everybody just doing what they can individually and getting better at what we're all making mistakes on right now is what is how we can help uh, be a better team overall. You mentioned like in the defensive effort against Baylor, what in particular was, was working on that end? Was it just simply effort or was it closeouts? Um, I think it was just a matter of being in our right spots. Um, I definitely didn't have my best defensive game that game, um, but just like everybody else covering and covering up for other people's mistakes, um, we just have to get, we can't give up the second points we were holding. If we held them to one shot, it would have been a game, a game back and forth the whole game. So it was just a matter of like all the little things, but I think um, our bigs did a good job on the backside. Uh, especially Philly and Kennedy just being a presence, getting blocks, being disciplined as much as they can and not letting fouls get them out of the game. Getting to meet Nancy Lieberman on Sunday, what was that like getting to talk to a legend of the game? Um, I was definitely like, it was a little kid moment, little girl moment for sure when I was talking to her. Um, but she gave me great advice, great confidence, just um, how to be the best point guard I can. She just kind of told me like, you can be an All-American, but make everybody else an All-American around you as well. And that's what's uh, gonna make you the best player you can be. So just grow and learn. And it was very encouraging words though to hear before a game, kind of helped me have more of an aggressive mindset going into the game. Three games in four days is quite a haul. And where the mental's at for you guys looking at that much of a stretch? Um, it's no different than a tournament, um, NCAA tournament, Pac-12 tournament. We're gonna be playing games like that back to back. So. Um, just making sure we're taking care of our bodies, those that log a lot of minutes, getting in the cold tubs, getting treatment as much as we can, and then really dialing in on practice. We had a really good practice today, so everybody was locked in, and we just need to carry that out through these next couple of days. What are you hoping to see this weekend? Obviously wins, but outside of that, to maybe create some momentum as you get closer to conference. Um, just getting back to uh, transition, pushing, getting easy things in transition. I know that's where me and Grace strive a lot. Um, so getting easy buckets like that and then just really dialing in on defense, no second chance points, uh, limiting turnovers. Everybody can do it better with our turnovers. Um, just making sure everybody's dialed in. It's really like the little things with us um, that's kind of setting us back. So if we just focus on the little things and give that little bit of extra effort, it'll contribute to us being able to win a lot easier.
coach was saying, Sophia's been doing playing a little bit of point recently mm -hmm. because of some injuries. How, how is she coming along? Has it come across naturally, or what have you seen? Um, yeah, I think we just have to keep building in the confidence of her. She's not really putting on the deck right now. So just trying to build confidence in her to put on the floor and know she can create. For me, like I do her or our bigs um, coming off a of pick and roll, um, just not letting her play timid and just playing confident and free because that's what's going to help you play the best. So. That said, Kelly, Kelly also said Sophia's just been asked to do a bunch on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. and she's kind of been a catalyst. What has allowed her to just step in and you know be able to guard almost every single position when she needs to? Yeah, um, I kind of talked with her last year. We kind of are in, she was in the role that I was last year, uh, catch and shoot shots, one dribble pull-ups, get to the basket, easy buckets, and then defend 94 feet. And we had a team meeting last week, um, just telling her to embrace that. Like you can set the tone every week. And that's what I took pride in last year. So I'm trying to help her a little bit more uh, with that just getting up playing aggressive because she gets so many deflections because she's so long um and it'll lead us to get easy buckets in transition buckets for herself and then with you mentioned the second chance points is that something that, that as, as a guard and maybe as a guard mm -hmm. you, you guys need to emphasize going after and attacking the boards more uh yeah right now uh we're changing like who we're sending back and things like that um but everybody can do a better job defensively rebounding um, I think me and Soph should be having five boards a game, and that's just how it should be. Philly and Grace can have it easily double-double, but um, just everybody. It's the second effort and just a reminder and really just trying to emphasize getting back, not letting things in transition, and then crash the boards, everybody get in the fight.